Welcome back for some more Legacy of Can. In this part, we're gonna do something a little bit different from what I did before in my uh, previous try of this game. Now, instead of going to Cairn's castle, we're going to get the Force Glyph, which I didn't actually get in my previous try of this game. Now, the Force Glyph is one of the second weakest glyphs, but it's actually pretty useful since you can't get access to any of the other ones right now, since you need uh, some abilities which aren't accessible right now to you, so... Force Glyph is quite useful, especially for this, uh, well, after Cairn, going through uh, the silenced sanctuary, I think it was. It'll be quite useful because there are some enemies there which will just, like, surround you and just, just beat the shit out of you. So that's pretty useful, Glyph. So we're going to want to go to Melkaia's Mausoleum. Go to the second uh, warp point to it. Go to the right after you jump in the water. Now you will actually need uh, Melkaia's Fears Through Gates ability, so make sure you've got that. Make sure you've defeated uh, Melkaia and all that. So just keep going down here. It's pretty easy to farm, just this big ass kid. Then come up through, through here, make sure you have full health because we need to go back to the material realm right here and there are no souls in here. Actually there is one right there. So. Just disregard what I said. And now we need to push over these columns for no apparent reason. Take that column. That's for being a bastard. So we have to push over these other ones as well. Take that. How do you like that column? That's what you get for just staying there and doing nothing. Yeah. Once acquired, these glyphs empower you with elemental lore. Each spell exacts a sacrifice of energy, however. Use them sparingly and wisely. Sweet! So I won't show that glyph off just yet, just to, just to make you guys watch the whole video just to see what it does. So now you can either turn off your game, quick game, from the menu, uh, and go back to the uh, beginning place in the elders uh, sanctuary place but first before you do that after we get rid of these things their name escapes for you right now get in my belly wait that wasn't a scottish accent Anyway, before you turn off your game or resume your game from the menu, you're going to want to pick up this health artifact here. These artifacts enhance your stamina, enabling you to prolong your material manifestation. Gather five to complete the emblem and thereby augment your strength. Okay, so let's pick this up and we need four more of those to get some extra health. Which isn't really that necessary, since it's pretty hard to get a game over in this game. But if, you, if you're like a completionist and want 100%, I guess you could just get them. And there's only 10 of, 10 of them as well, so it's not like you have to find hundreds of them. So anyway, I'm going to head back to Cairn's castle now.
Okay, so we're back. We're near Ken's Castle right now. And we can just run past these guys. We don't need to take them out right now. Well, we don't. Ever. Anymore. I don't think you even had to at the beginning of the game. But anyway, continuing on. We're gonna have to shift the spectral realm here. And as you can see, my force glyph is where the shifting to material realm, spectral realm selection thing is. And we have another health artifact here, which is nice. It's pretty easy fun. Pretty easy find, it's pretty hard not to get. He didn't do the uh, animation. Don't know if you guys noticed that or not. Okay, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for the Force Glyph. So let's do this. Now isn't that awesome? So we got one of them with that force cliff and now just throw the other one in there. Sweet. Okay. Now we can just run past this guy and this guy as well because we're going to be needing to switch the spectral realm. over here, which we need to phase through. And we have to get through a door, so to the material world we go. And you guys know what lies beyond this door, right? That's right. It's Ken. So bring on the Ken.